What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Brennan, and I'm BMAX45, and today we're coming at you with another video. We have a box opening or unboxing of the new Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition. Took a while to get this. I was not able to pre-order it on Best Buy. They did not have any copies, so I uh, actually on release day I went and checked to see if they had any more because I was able to get the God of War last year because they had more copies come in than what they originally pre-ordered, and yeah, uh, they didn't have any, so I ended up going to Amazon, and a seller on Amazon had it for the same price, so I said, you know what, I think this is a really great game, I really love the first one, I enjoyed playing Miles Morales, so I decided, hey, you know, I'm going to go and I'm going to pick up this from Amazon, and of course it didn't ship for a couple weeks, uh, at that point we're, you know, sitting at the beginning of November, so I just got it now, it's actually funny, I've beaten the game, because I, I bought the regular copy um, in case I couldn't get the other one, I was just going to return it. So I ended up just playing the other game so I could play the game right away. And I'm going to sell that for like half price, make some of the money back. But I've actually completed the game already. So it's funny because I'm going to be doing a review soon on the channel of the game. But this is kind of like a lead up to that, uh, showing you what you get if you decide to buy the collector's edition. If you like Spider-Man 2 and uh, all the cool stuff that comes in it. So without further ado, we'll get into the video. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard because it's a big box there. Um, but yeah, uh, and hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below, we'd love to hear your thoughts, uh, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. Let's get into it here. Ugh. I had to turn the autofocus off so it would actually, <laughs> the camera would, wouldn't would blur out the, the marvel on that thing. Uh, so you got here, trying to figure out where, oh, there we go, there we go. This is not easy to deal with. <laughs> don't rip the box in case you want to, you know, save it for memorabilia purposes. Okay, my son's gonna love this because he really wanted to see what was in this box because they loved watching me play Spider-Man. Okay, so it's got a little like pull strings. So we're gonna just do that here. Wow, it's an interesting way of doing things. I feel like I have it upside down. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Yeah, totally had it upside down. Why would you put? The why would you put the pull strings on the bottom side? That's just weird. Okay. I mean, I guess it's not, I guess, no, nah, I guess it's not the bottom side. So, here's the inside, it's all nicely wrapped. Let's see what we got in here. Um, so we have the awesome looking statue of Venom uh, holding Miles. That's pretty cool. And then there's a, there's Peter's Spider-Man. Um, so I'd have to get that all set up there. Um, and then And then we have a how this thing works. There's like a yeah. So there's like a web a web line in this case right here that goes into Venom's arm and that's where it kind of holds Peter up in the air, so that's cool. Uh, you have a digital deluxe edition case steelbook case with no disc i might add so you don't actually you get the digital version of the game which is silly because i have no idea why why they give you a steelbook case if they're not going to give you a disc so maybe i'll just keep my disc copy and sell the digital copy emily may foundation on the back if any of you have played the game already so it's a cool case 
Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, now, the, the digital, digital Deluxe Edition does come with quite a bit. It comes with um, the full game with the early unlock stuff. So the Arknight suit, uh, Arachnight suit, Peter, the Shadow Spider suit, Miles. Um, you get web grabber gadgets, uh, three extra skill points. Um, ten unique suits for Peter. And miles, five each, ten combinations, yeah, lots of different stuff um, with with the DLC that comes with it. But it's all digital, so that's kind of unfortunate because I am very much a, you know, hard copy kind of guy. I do like having, you know, the disc, so there he is, Venom in all his glory. Um, the game was really great. Actually, I enjoyed it a lot. I did have a few critiques of it, but um, the statue looks really cool. There. And it's got, like, all the Venom stuff at the bottom. I think it's done very well, and uh, I'll enjoy that. The Steelbook case looks amazing. Um, it doesn't say Spider-Man 2 on the side, which is weird, on, on the rim anywhere. But the case looks really cool as well. Um, like I said, I have the disc copy, so I could just keep that and sell, like I said, uh, sell the digital copy. Um, I don't necessarily need the added bonuses for the digital deluxe edition. The launch edition came with most of that stuff. Um, I don't know if there's really any difference at this point in, in time. But uh, no, it's a really cool, really cool edition. I like the statues. I have a bunch of statues. Um, if you've seen some of my shorts, you might see some of the other ones I have, some Assassin's Creed and Borderlands and um, other stuff like that, uh, games that I was really, really um, excited about. And this was one I was really excited about too, so I really kind of wanted to get this because I felt like it was a really cool uh, special edition. And I, I love Spider-Man, so it's probably my favorite Marvel superhero, honestly, um, because I'm more of a DC guy. But uh, no, I really enjoy this. I think it's really cool. Um, the Venom is just really cool. Uh, and it looks like a great, you know, really great work. Um, you know, really solid product. I don't know if I would say that this is worth the price tag they put on it. Um, I mean, you're paying for the game and you're paying for the statue, but you're not getting a physical copy, which is also kind of meh, but I think they charge the same for, I think you pay the same if, if you get disc or digital, so that doesn't matter. Um, and it's not like it's giving you like a DLC. I don't know if they're going to have Spider-Man DLC yet, but if they are, they're not giving you like a season pass, which feels kind of lame because I feel like a season pass should probably be included in this. But other than that, um, and again, digital copies, you know, if you're going to sell a collector's edition, why not give someone a disc? Like, I feel like the, the disc copy should have came in here because what's the point of giving them a steel bookcase, an empty steel bookcase? It's just silly. It's just silly. Um, that to me is silly. This is great. The the art on this is great. Um, the whole digital only thing is silly. Uh, I, I I personally think and yeah no I, I definitely think that that's that's kind of funny. But uh, no, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy this? Do you think that these are, are worthwhile products? Uh, did you like the the Venom statue? Um, and do you think that the steelbook looks really great? Do you feel like me? Like, why would you sell a collector's edition and make the whole thing digital, uh, but give a steelbook case? Um, and do you think it's worth the price tag? Um, it's two ninety nine Canadian, um, so you're paying a hundred bucks roughly for the game, um, and then your statue, and then your steelbook case, and your digital content. Yeah, it it, it seems like a high price tag, honestly, um, to pay for what you do get. Um, it's you know, like I said, it's it's a collector's item, so I mean they they can get collectors on that kind of stuff. But uh, other than that, I mean, yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of in mixed uh, opinions right about now. But hey, guys, I'm gonna be doing a review on the game soon, so uh, stay tuned on the channel. We're gonna have a lot of content coming out this week. But yeah, we'll have that review in the works, and we'll kind of tell you what we liked about the game, what we didn't like about the game, what we thought about it, what you know, do if we think it's worth a playthrough or not. But, uh, you know, 
Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys are looking forward to and we will try to make that happen in future videos. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in and we hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day and that's all for now, folks.